it was kind of funny. I decided I wanted a golden retriever about six months before my, at that time, boyfriend, now husband, was ready to commit to one. And so I went ahead and named him Mulligan. And every time I saw a picture of a golden retriever, I would cut it out and put it on our fridge. So our fridge at the time was covered, like top to bottom, with pictures of golden retrievers. So I wasn't discreet. He gave me a picture of Mulligan for Christmas, and he was our first child. He had just started limping back probably about this time last year. So I decided to take him to a holistic vet for acupuncture to see if that would help. And then as soon as she felt his knee, she knew right away. He was diagnosed with synovial cell carcinoma cancer. And so they amputated his entire rear right leg because they wanted to get as far away from the tumor to hopefully make sure they got it all out. It crushed me taking him to his amputation and then we had to leave him there the night and I never left him anywhere overnight. Then he's had since five rounds of chemo. Bogey, his three-year-old golden retriever brother, he just knew he just had to be there. He would just lay with him. He went probably about a month after through these weird things where all of a sudden he'd just be kind of like yelping while he was laying down. And it was, I mean, it really, really scared me. I didn't know what was going on. And Dr. Lothrop, his internal medicine doctor, had given me a cell phone number. And so I'm calling him, being that crazy dog mom, and sending him video and whatnot. And once Dr. Lothrop saw the video, he was like, he's not in any pain. He's just playing, y'all. Because every time he starts this yelping, you guys come to him and love on him, and he doesn't have to get up. And I was like, you little stinker. After that two weeks, he just was ready to play, he was ready to just live his life. It was just like he didn't need that leg anyway. Once he started doing so much better and just thriving, we decided that it would be really good to try and find some way to bring good out of such a scary situation. And so we decided to look into him becoming a therapy dog. We thought it would be so neat for him to go visit with kids going through chemo or who had lost a limb for some tragic reason or veterans or anybody really just to see how well he's doing and give them some, some reason to be excited. I mean, he's impacted my life, mine and my husband's life so much, but I want him to be able to like touch everybody, as many people as possible, and for his reach to be big and wonderful. And so he'll always just be remembered as, some, as not just a dog, but that he just made the most out of such a scary situation. So hopefully it'll help people who themselves are facing something scary to see that there's, there can be good outcome and just you have to be positive.